Hi friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel. I thank you for being here. I appreciate you. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Em and you're watching Makeup Break. If you are new here, please be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you can be notified of any future upload that I do. By the way, I have this random hair sticking up. I have no idea where that came from. Anyway, I feel a little like alfalfa. Boing! Okay, let's move ahead. Uh, I'm kind of excited for today's video because I finally got... Woo! So I, I finally got my hands on this beautiful Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos in collaboration with the beautiful and talented Angelica Nif Nikvist. Angelica Nikvist. I'm trying, but she goes by Angie, so <laughs> Angie Nikvist. Okay, anyway, this palette is stunning. And this is my first go around with Kaleidos Beauty or Kaleidos Cosmetics. I think it's just Kaleidos or Kaleidos. She says a Kaleidos, it looks like Kaleidos. It's a company based in Shanghai, so it could be either one. I'm going to say Kaleidos because I want to kind of go along with the Kaleidoscope idea. But I thought it would be kind of fun to just do a makeup look with this and just kind of chat a little bit. By the way, I did get a couple other products from Kaleidos because I wanted, I've been wanting to try them for so long. I ended up picking up this uh, Warm and Medium Charisma Contour Palette, which looks really nice because it's got the cool, warmer, and uh, neutral shade here that you can use for a matte highlighter, which I'm excited about. And then I also picked up a Space Case Highlighter. Now these are really special because they're dual chromatic and or multi-chromes. I'm not sure. I think this one's just a duo. This one is pink and gold with kind of a melon. I think this is a multi-chrome. I was going to get more of these, but then I realized... Do I really need them? No. And I have some other ones that are duochromatic. This one seemed to be the most unique in terms of color additions to my collection. And then I finally picked up this Kaleidos Futurism number 6 palette. I keep dropping all the little inserts. This one is the Lunar Lavender one. It is so beautiful. Look at this shade right here. But today's star is Club Nebula. I've already swatched all these colors because I couldn't help it. <laughs> I got it and I was like, okay, I'm going to play. Um, but this is the first time I'm playing with them on my eyes. So I thought I would just do some, uh, just kind of a bright, colorful look. I'm totally in my pajamas today. Sports bra, tank top, sweater, you name it. I'm not going anywhere, at least as far as I know, because we're having a snow day. And uh, we had about a foot of snow, and I don't think I'm going to go anywhere, you know. My chair keeps a squeaking, so if you hear a little squeaky, squeaky, weird grinding noise, that'll be my chair, not me. Should I go with blue? Should I go with reds or purples? What color? Should I do the acid green today? I can do the acid green with a little bit of blue. I'll do the acid green, which is called Gravity. What I love about this palette is that she is not afraid to be geeky and nerdy with her obsession with nerdy things. I'm not using a base today. I just don't feel like doing that. I just felt like digging out the color and just playing with it. There's a little bit of kick up, but not much. I mean, I would expect there to be kick up with a pigment like this. It is a pressed pigment palette, not an eyeshadow palette per the USDA. This is such a cool color. In the pan, it looks like truly electric neon lime green. Wearing it, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I'm appreciating because sometimes those chalky matte shades can just be that. It, it can be really chalky and I'm not about chalky shadows. Now, there's definitely a little bit of a shimmer sheen to this which is nice because you don't really see it but I think it helps this color blend out so it's not patchy and gross because that can often happen. That's fun. What do you think? Should I just leave it like this and just be like, yo, I'm cool. I'm from the future. I have a ticket to Club Nebula so therefore I can wear whatever I want and I'll look cool no matter what you say. Okay, that was weird. Alright, I'm going to take the navy blue, which is called Void. It's here in this corner. This is really pigmented. i take this in this outer corner here. Ooh, that packs a punch. Wow, Angie, way to go. You created amazing colors as far as I can tell from these two so far. That looks really pretty. I'm excited about this palette. I haven't actually sat down to play with my makeup in a while. 
I've just been in a rut, you guys. I'm going to talk a little bit about some serious stuff, so don't mind me. It'll be kind of a chatty get ready with me while I'm playing with this palette. So if you came here just for the palette, sorry, I do like to chat about my life a little bit here and there. I've been in a rut these past few weeks, almost a month really. And I don't know if it's just the world and everything going on in it uh, politically and otherwise, but I've just been feeling really depressed. And I'm already on an antidepressant. I went on to antidepressants a few years ago. Um, actually several years ago because of some stuff that happened to me, some traumatic things. And it was something that I felt was right for me, so I went on them. And then I switched it around and have been playing with different um, ones. And the one that I found that I really like is Wellbutrin or Bupropion, which works in a different way than your typical antidepressants. I have been on that one for years, and it doesn't create adverse side effects, so I really like it. However, after my mom passed away, a lot of other things just started coming up and I've been, you know, dealing with PTSD and grieving, that sort of thing. Anyway, I recently decided to increase my dosage of my antidepressant because I've been feeling just kind of out of sorts and just, I don't know, just not motivated. It's been tough too because after I fractured my back, I haven't been able to do much physically. It hurts to stand too long on my feet. If I am at the grocery store and I have to wait in line for too long, it's really painful. So going for walks and things like that are really difficult for me to do, which is unfortunate because that's pretty much the only thing I can really do outside of just go to the grocery store and or go to the Starbucks drive through which is not good for my waistline. <laughs> Going for a walk would be amazing, but unfortunately it's just really difficult for me to do. So I've been just in this rut. I haven't been able to sleep in my own bed because it hurts too much to lie flat. So I have to sleep propped up and unfortunately my bed pillows, just the way my bed is, it's a firm mattress. So I just don't get the most comfort in sleeping in my bed. So I have to sleep on my couch, which has just disrupted my entire sleep cycle. And uh, yeah, so I've just been out of sorts these past few months and I've just... I don't know, the past couple of weeks I haven't really wanted to be here on YouTube. I've been watching videos and enjoying other people's content, but I just haven't felt motivated to create my own. Which is sad because I love YouTube and I cre love creating videos and I love playing with makeup. But sometimes I just feel like, what's the purpose, you know? But anyway, I'm that's just me in a pity party feeling sorry for myself. And, uh, you know, that's just that. Anyway, here we go. That's cool. I like that. And I kind of feel like I want a really bright, colorful pop on the center of the lids. I want to do something funky. I think I might do this light purple color. This one is called You're My Only Hope, which is a Star Wars reference. Quick question. Team Star Wars or Team Star Trek? Comment below and let me know. I am a total nerd for Star Trek. I like Star Wars, don't get me wrong. I haven't really gotten into the whole Star Wars universe. Like, I haven't watched Mandalorian. I haven't, you know, watched all the newer uh, Star Wars movies, aside from Phantom Menace, which, of course, was not one of the best ones <laughs> from my understanding. But eventually, I'll get around to watching all of them because, you know, they're all in Disney Plus now. But, uh, yeah, I haven't watched uh, Mandalorian. And I have a Baby Yoda mask. I will have to insert a picture here so you can see it. And I get asked all the time, what did you think about that episode the other night? I'm like, uh, it was great. Because <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm wearing this Baby Yoda mask and I'm like, uh, yeah. It's cute, okay? <laughs> I am Team Star Trek all the way. I have been re-watching Next Generation on Netflix, which has the brilliant um, Patrick Stewart starring as Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Ooh, that's pretty. You see that reflection? I know I'm a little far away, but holy smokes. So, like, it actually picks up more blue on my eyelids than it is purple, which is really cool. Angie! Oh! Amazing job, girl! I love this. I love this. I think I found a new favorite. Would you be interested in me doing like a color story challenge with this palette? I think they just restocked it as of today the 17th. So if you want it, you better go check it out like now. 
because it might be sold out again and from what I understand they're probably not going to be able to bring it back. From my first impressions it is so stunning and I'm loving this color combination. I normally wouldn't pair like lime green and purple together but it's working. It's working for me. It's kind of funky. It's kind of fun and it's unique. Anyway going back to my Star Trek reference. I've been watching Next Generation. I used to watch that with my dad when I was a kid and my dad was a total nerd. He loved Star Wars and Star Trek. He used to work for um, Raytheon many, 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 many years ago. Um, so he was a sciencey nerd. He was, my dad was an engineer and he worked in radar and telecommunications and he was in the Coast Guard and did a lot of like missions in the Middle East. He lived in Saudi Arabia for a few years which is kind of cool. Anyway, my dad was like this total nerd. He would sit there with his calculus book and try to figure out different mathematical concepts and then he would build out all these random like electrical circuit rewiring things for the house and it's like, cool. <laughs> he would explain all these concepts and I'm like, yeah. Dad, I'm not, I'm not that smart. I'm only 10 years old. <laughs> Anyway, that was my dad. He got me into like the science fiction stuff. Um, it took me a while to kind of be able to watch it though um, and appreciate it because I was so young I didn't quite understand what was going on. And of course, you know, Star Trek they use a lot of random terms like photons. I don't even think most adults know what a photon is. A photon torpedo. <laughs> okay, I just got makeup all <laughs> over. It's a good thing I didn't do my base yet. Oh my gosh, okay. Quick note, there is a bit of fallout. Thank goodness for makeup wipes. There we go. I'm gonna use the teal shade, which is called Queen of Blades, just under the lash line to tie in that green a little bit more. That is so pretty. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time, I'll be honest. I kinda wish I could go somewhere right now because I'd be like, anti-pretty with this pretty eye makeup look. Yeah, that blends so beautifully. It was fairly effortless. That is so pretty. I kind of want to go in with these fleece. Fleece, I can't speak. So I think I'm going to take this color here, which is called Nova. It's a duochrome with a white base and purple shift. I figure I might as well add that into the inner corner of the eye as well. Why not? Really make my eyes pop and shimmer. Oh, yes. That is so gorgeous. Okay. It really pops and brings like this uh, blue violet shade here. I'm in love. This palette is amazing. I'm so glad I bought this. So if you've been around for a little while, you may know that I'm on this special kick this year. This year I am limiting myself to one makeup purchase per month. I don't have like a set budget on that. It just depends on what I want to get. So Kaleidos was my January purchase because I saw this and I was like, I gotta support Angie. Plus I really like the color story of the palette. I've been wanting to try Kaleidos for a long time. It was on my 2021 list of brands to try. So it was like perfect timing. Try out Kaleidos and get this beautiful collab and it can be my January purchase. So it hit three, three, if I can count three, uh, three things there. So I was really excited. And uh, I am so, so stoked that I got this. I'm also trying to incorporate my empties products. I'm going to use a little bit of silver eyeliner here on this bottom inner rim. And just kind of pull that purple out a little bit with the silver. And just tie it into that um, teal. I'm trying to use a few products in every single makeup look, which is kind of challenging. So I have this... Jessie's Girl Eyeliner in a Silver Frost. So this is on my Project Empties monthly thing. So I have to incorporate that somehow. So I'll incorporate, incorporate it. Incorporate what? Incorporate a tear on my eye. I don't know what accent this is, but uh, it sounds a little French and it sounds a little Russian. Might even sound a little German, but it is not. It is not. It is me being a dork. All right, let's do some black liner on the top. All right, that's as good as that's gonna get. Let's do some eyelash torturing here. Ouch, I always pinch my eyes with these stupid things. Mascara. All right, I'm actually kind of liking this mascara for the most part today. I'm gonna do some face base. I'm gonna try out this uh, 
It Cosmetics primer. This one is an all day grip technology, whatever that means. It's a deluxe sample, obviously. Probably pairs really well with the CC cream, but I'm not using that today. I'm going to use this um, Maybelline Dra Radiant Dream Liquid Foundation. I haven't worn foundation in a long time, y'all. Uh, this one's kind of like a light medium coverage, which is all I really want right now. I don't want to go heavy on foundation today. Hmm. Just kind of showing up a little more orange than I remember. There's that. Yeah, that actually looks really nice. I'm going to do a teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny amount of concealer. I have um, Tarte Shapeless, or Tarte Shape Tape Creaseless Concealer. Yeah. Just a little bit under the eyes because I have a bit of dark circle going on. And with that blue, that deep blue, I really don't want that to look like it's migrating downward. So the only thing about using navy blue is that you have to be, especially when you use it under the bottom lash line, is that you have to be really careful so it doesn't migrate downwards and make you look like you're sick or tired, all of the above. This is kind of an interesting formula, this creaseless one. Very kind of gel-like. Feels nice. I like it. It's not like their typical shape tape, which can be pretty drying. But this does need a little powder over the top just to mattify it a little bit. Make sure it stays in place. I'm going to try out this contour palette today. I'm going to use the Cool Tone. Oops, I used a little too much, but looks like it has a little bit of uh, forgiveness. And it blends okay. Of course, I'm using my foundation brush, so that definitely helps. Yeah, that looks nice. I can already tell you right away, I think I would prefer to have the bronze one here and this cool tone is the larger one just because I imagine I would want to use the cooler color a little bit more than I would the warmer tone for contour anyway. Then again, I do tend to use bronzer more so I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I'll use a little bit of the bronzer shade everywhere else just to warm it up on the top of the cheekbone. I said I'm going full B today and I was not kidding. Normally I don't do this much but normally I just do the concealer and blush and highlighter but I'm doing it all today because I feel like being glam. I think sometimes just doing your makeup is what makes you feel better. Okay, I'm going to use this blush here. Just a little bit here on the cheeks to give it more color. That's really pretty, isn't it? There's a bit of sheen to it, so the highlighter is going to be a little over the top as well, but nothing wrong with being a little glam, is there? I'm going to use this highlighter, of course. This one is the first one called Comet Catcher. Oh, that's so pretty. Definitely a really interesting contrast with the eye makeup because the eye makeup is green and blue with a little bit of purple in it, and this is just like pure pink. So I think I like this on, I like the contrast that this gives, it's kind of different. Yep, that's pretty full. I'm going to tie it in with the lips. There's a lip product that's on my Project Empties that I've been, I haven't used yet. <laughs> I don't know why, but I need to. This is that magenta shade from Hot Topic that I just need to use. I kind of just want to leave this color, the lip color on its own. This is so bold and just fun and it kind of, I like how it looks with this lime green. I did bring out a light pink lip color that I was going to use for like a contrasting thing. I'm going to add a little bit to the center just to see how it looks. Uh, it's so subtle that you can't even tell. There we go. Okay, I like this. I like this lip color with it. I feel like I am ready for spring. As I look outside and I see snow, but I'm ready for spring. This is so pretty. What do you think? Do you like the color combination that I did? What's brilliant is that like this lilac color is kind of reflecting a light green and blue. You know, you see it here and it's like lilac. And then it kind of pulls it together with a little bit of lilac with this uh, Nova color, which I used in the inner tear duct. And it just kind of brilliantly pulls that together. Can you tell I have lilac on my lids? Probably not. It looks very green and kind of silvery. 
looks really cool. I love that transformative quality. I love when eyeshadows work together in that way in an unexpected but brilliant way. So Angie from a makeup artist who is very specific about color theory and making sure that things work together in a way that kind of creates this cohesiveness in a palette. If I wear a hat, hats off. <laughs> Good congratulations. This is such a beautiful palette. I don't know that you'll ever watch my video, and if you are, yay, thank you. But if, you know, on the likelihood that you're not watching this video, I don't know I'm still talking, but hey, whatever. I'm excited about this makeup look. I am excited to hop on a Zoom call and be like, ah, so glam today. What do you think? I've had so much fun just sitting here playing with makeup today and just kind of telling little stories about my family, my nerdiness. I don't know. Anyway, I hope this video was enjoyable for you. Again, let me know if you want to see a colored story challenge with this video. With this video. I mean this palette. Droop. Doop, doop. My words ran away with me. Anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay electric. Mwah. Bye!